Well, a cloud of uncertainty hangs over Manitoba's NDP government tonight. Ministers who challenge the leadership of Premier Greg Selinger have agreed to keep quiet about it for now, but aren't backing down. And as you saw on Global News, Selinger says he's not quitting either. Meantime, nobody seems to know when or if MLAs will return to their seats in the legislature this fall. That's where Global's Ashley Carter is standing by live tonight with more. Ashley? That's right, Peter. Now, while members of the rebellious five have been keeping busy, they aren't sure when or where they are going to be sitting next. Now, it has been the norm for about the past 15 years while the NDP has been in power that they have had a fall session. But it isn't known, again, if that's going to happen or whether or not the Premier will be able to lay out his agenda. The five of us have expressed uh, a deep concern. That concern continues. Finance Minister Andrew Swan is not backing down, standing by his word and the word of four other rebellious cabinet colleagues who questioned the Premier's leadership on Monday, sparking a week of turmoil. But by Thursday, Selinger had reined in that rebellion with the five senior ministers now tight-lipped. We've agreed not to speak about this publicly until we have a further chance to sit down with the Premier. Uh, we owe that to him. I've made a commitment to him uh, not to be speaking on this broad issue uh, of uh, his leadership and, and the controversy surrounding that. But that hasn't stopped other NDP MLAs from voicing their criticism. I think it's important that he resign immediately for the good of the people of Manitoba. Oswald says no one is stepping down anytime soon and they insist the leadership questions have not derailed the NDP government. The business of the government is continuing on. But opposition parties say the Selinger government has lost focus. How can the minister be focused on their own jobs and responsibilities when they are trying to run their leader out of town? Why should we trust you then if you don't even trust one another? Uh, re-establishing credibility, uh, that, you know, it's going to be a monumental task. And presenting a unified front bench, if and when the legislature sits this fall. Oh, there's been no announcement yet. I don't have a reason to expect that there's not to be one. I haven't heard otherwise. If you're accountable and focused, then you want a legislative session to demonstrate that. Now another interesting point came to light today that when Selinger did make his announcement on Tuesday when he was flanked by about 15 other MLAs and ministers, they say today that they didn't know what Selinger was going to say, whether or not he was going to step down or continue working.